In this short presentation, we'll explain the three-step process to leak detection, which is LLP, localize, locate, and pinpoint. And we'll be using the latest modern technology for acoustic leak detection. Starting with localization, zone scan noise loggers are deployed on valves and hydrants and left overnight to identify the constant sound of a leak noise when background noise is lowest and pressure is highest. Once all the loggers have been deployed, we enter the deployment address for each logger in the position field, import the map and position the loggers on the map. Now we're back again the following day, ready to download the results. We may choose to leave the loggers here for a few days to find all the leaks, so we're going to download the results using the radio between the car and the loggers. The Comlink has Bluetooth communication to the PC. The software analyzes the noise level and the consistency of the noise to determine whether there's a leak present. After analyzing the, the consistency and the um, noise level, it actually calculates a percentage of there being a leak. So we get a probability, and these uh, probabilities are color-coded. Green for no leak, orange for possible leak, and red for probable leak. So now let's drive around and collect the results. So we've got our rat antenna on the roof of the car, connected to the Comlink, and we've got Bluetooth communication between the, uh, the laptop PC and the Comlink. Local phone. Possible leak indicated. Synchronization terminated. Local phone. No leak indicated. Synchronization terminated. So now that we're looking at the results, we can see that there are three loggers indicating uh, the probability of there being a leak in the section of Duchess Street, and uh, the loudest readings up on the corner of Duchess and First Street. So now with the noise logging results, which have localized the position of the leak to the corner of Duchess and First Street, it's time for us to think about locating the leak. So we move into the location stage of LLP. So what we're going to do now is we're going to park between the two loggers um, on the corner of uh, Duchess and First Street and communicate with the two loggers downloading the sound recordings that were recorded to provide a correlation which indicates the location of the leak. This is a really high quality correlation and I'm very confident there's a leak here. The peak indicates the position of the leak and we can see that it's 30.5 meters from the hydrant on the corner of Duchess Avenue and First Avenue. So now what we want to do is measure out this position. After measuring the position, we can see that it's in line with the service connection for number 18 Duchess Avenue. So there's a very high probability the leak's not on the main it could actually be on the service connection running over from the main to number 18 Duchess Avenue. So to be sure that we're going to mark the leak in the correct place, we need to do a further correlation using the Aquascan 610. We'll deploy a sensor on the hydrant on the corner of Duchess Avenue and First Avenue, and we'll deploy a, a sensor on the uh, service connection at number 18 Duchess Avenue, and perform a correlation between those two points and that'll tell us whether the leak is actually on the main or it's on the service connection.
Now if the leak had been under the road or the footpath, we would have used the ground microphone. And the ground microphone is used by simply placing it on top of the road or the footpath and moving it back and forth until you find the point with the loudest noise. Our knowledgeable and professional team at Gutemann will be pleased to assist you with any further inquiries about leak detection, whether it be about equipment or training. Please have a look on www.gutemann.eu or www.findmoreleaks.com to find out more information about Gutemann.